they were both commercial organisations and the, um, there was an allegation from one team that they felt like the David to the Goliath. Um, actually, they were, as he went through the day, I wasn't quite sure that was entirely right. Um, but in that particular situation, um, I, was, I thought very carefully about who was going to speak, when they were going to speak, um, how to manage that, and I always do that in any event. But in this situation, I decided that the smaller team, it was probably better to have them go first and in fact let their CEO speak. Um, and the other team were ready for that. Again, it's all about preparation. So I explained how I, th what I, how I thought he was going to handle it. Um, I knew there'd be some difficult messages, but I kind of made sure the other team were ready for those. And it is about building trust. You know, it is about building trust. And for clients to know, it doesn't matter to the mediator, you know, the David and Goliath, Every, you know, the clients are your clients, however many parties you're dealing with, you're there for the clients. But I do recognise that certain clients, you know, maybe in employment disputes, um, great deal of anxiety on behalf of employees, partnership disputes where people are being pushed out, um, yeah, small contractors, there's all kinds of scenarios. Um, but that actually tends to build a great sense of, often a greater sense of grievance. So actually your, your David, um, you know, can be really, really upset. Um, and you really have to manage that. And you know, your Goliath actually may not be trying to leverage their power. Um, they, they, they actually, if they're smart, realize they've got to adopt a listening position, you know, and got to help you allow the kind of cathartic elements um, and let people say things as to how they really feel about it. And they may be wrong, but let them at least have the opportunity to say it. And then I've seen quite a lot of good situations where very large corporations, sophisticated clients, have been able to you know address that i've seen that with the the bank obviously after the banking crisis we've had a lot of um, litigation in that space and there's been some very good people um, in that space who've been able to do it but you have to do it with sincerity you know it can't be trite so you have to do it with respect and, and sincerity but if you listen um, that actually will help you kind of gain momentum and get traction for ultimately the negotiation